Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Charlene. Today I'll be doing a little room tour of my quarantine hotel and I'll do a little review as well. So let's go! So here's my room. When you come in, the bathroom is on the left. It's quite nice. And on the right, there is the closet. So you open up the closet. I have my cardigan jacket, my backpack, and some laundry. And now you have this little complimentary area with uh, tea and coffee. I drink most of the tea and coffee. And you have a security box, then a fridge. Then that's the desk and the bed. If you like soft beds, then you definitely would like this bed. It's it's very soft and however I'm not a big fan of super soft beds so it's just okay for me and let me show you my view wow. not bad right not bad and the curtain is really good at blocking out the light and Here's a little sitting area, but I never actually use this part. And my luggage. That is my room. And there's a big mirror. And so that's it. So I'm currently staying at the hotel. I don't know how to say the name. That's why I decided to type it instead. So I'm gonna talk about the check-in process first. So we arrived at the parking lot instead of the lobby and the receptionist explained everything that we needed to do or pay attention to during our stay. For example, I have to check my body temperature twice a day and send the pictures to the nurse and also update my body temperature through an app. Um, then I was sent to my room to wait for my first COVID test. So one thing I think they could improve on is having the check-in somewhere else, like somewhere cooler, or maybe somehow make the parking lot a little cooler because it was just so hot in the parking lot. Uh, I was just sweating and sweating. It, it was not fun because the process was smooth, but very, very long. We had many forms to fill out and she had many things that she needed to explain to us. So yeah, that's one thing that I think they could improve on. So now I'm going to talk about some pros and cons. So first, let's talk about space. This room is spacious and I really like the style and the design. It's very modern and it's also quite bright and clean. Uh, so overall, I really like this room. But if I have to point out some cons, it would be the shower head and the windows. So the shower head had some black spots on it so they could have cleaned it better and the windows are good sized windows but um, I just like my space really well lit and bright so it would have been better if the windows were bigger but I understand I get what I paid for so it's no big deal. Next let's talk about food. So I get delivered three meals a day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. For breakfast it always comes with croissant and bread as well as a bottle of juice and for lunch and dinner it always comes with a bowl of either salad or wok fry vegetables as well as either a Thai dessert or a box of fruit or a piece of cake. So here's a menu that shows you what you're gonna have each day. I know you can't read this but it's a wide range of selection. You can have Asian and you can have Western as well. Um, these are scheduled set meals. However, you don't have to follow the days. You can pick your own meal. You just have to fill out a form online at least one day in advance. The food is actually pretty good. They're not the best, but they're definitely a lot better than I anticipated. 
However, a downside that I would say is that the meals are often delivered cold or not hot. So that would be a con. Now let's talk about service. All the staff members here are very polite, friendly, and accommodating, especially the receptionists. I communicate with them on the LINE app and they're very responsive. Also, um, the nurse is very nice and she always sends me messages and lets me know that it's time to send her the body temperature. So service-wise, 10 out of 10. Next, let's talk about Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is one of the biggest cons of this hotel. In general, the Wi-Fi connection in the room is quite weak, but it gets especially worse if I stay on this side of the bed. It does get better when I move towards the door. However, that's not very helpful either. So last but not least, let's talk about price. So I flew with Singapore Airlines and they offer special discount for this hotel. Um, they have two types of rooms. Uh, superior and deluxe so with the Singapore airline discount the superior room which I'm currently staying at would be 32,800 baht which is around a thousand dollars US and the normal price would be 33,900 and for the deluxe room it would be 38,600 with the discount and 39,900 without it. For couples with marriage status or a mother or father with one child aged 15 and under would be able to stay in one room. However, you will have to pay for a double occupancy. Um, I think it's a reasonable, very reasonable price for a hotel like this. All three meals included and three PCR tests. So yeah, that will be all for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions. I will try my best to answer them and please don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye!